Wrestling Mart is the world's largest wrestling retail showroom with the highest quality customer service and most comprehensive selection of wrestling products for wrestlers of all ages and levels. Wrestling shoes, headgear, singlets, mouth guards, apparel, mat tape, cleaning supplies, and more from all the top brands. Wrestling Mart is fully staffed by former elite wrestlers that will help you hand select the perfect gear. Come and shop the world's largest wrestling retail showroom. Visit us online or call to speak to a wrestling expert. Wrestling Mart, all wrestling, all the time. Wrestling fans, welcome to the next episode of the Legend Chronicles. Uh, today we have a very special episode. It's the big men. Going back pre-80, who are the great heavyweights? As usual, I'm with Bobby Douglas and Wayne Bachman. I'm Larry Nugent. We're here in the beautiful uh, showroom, wrestling showroom of Wrestling Mart. You've got to come here. You've got to see it for yourself. The largest wrestling showroom in the world. Uh, make sure you order all your wrestling equipment needs from, from Wrestling Mart. Uh, this is going to be a fun episode. Uh, I think partly because in the old days there was no wrestling limit. And, and the name that comes out, people have seen the posters. You're going to see some video of Chris Taylor. Uh, you both had experiences with Chris. Uh, Wayne, I've had a chance to really talk to you a lot about, about Chris Taylor. And one of the, you know, how, it wasn't easy to get a workout in. Chris Taylor was so big, I mean, how, how could you even work out with him? Well, Chris, first of all, when he first showed up at his first Greco-Roman camp, uh, first tryout for an international team, actually had been beaten off the freestyle team a week earlier. Uh, but at any rate, Chris came in and was uh, very uh, underconfident, uh, didn't have any confidence at all. He um, was kind of a bashful, quiet person. And I had always beaten Tom Peckham. Peckham had always pinned Chris Taylor. And so Chris just automatically assumed I should be able to beat him. <laughs> and I couldn't take him down, but I could knock him down. And, but he would stumble and go down when he really didn't need to. And I started saying, hey, Chris, you know, move your feet, don't do that. And Alan Rice was a coach. And he and all the other wrestlers started really getting on the bandwagon. And they would say, Chris, you, you know, you don't need to move. I mean, you got to move your feet. You don't need to go down. You know, and I actually told him, I said, somebody my size shouldn't even be able to move you. We sh I, I shouldn't be able to touch you. And there's because no reason. he was about how much at that time? Well, he I was between 420 and 440. 6'8". Oh, yeah, and, and a real giant. But um, at any rate, he started gaining confidence. And uh, finally one day, I was wrestling with him, and we went back to the center after going off the mat. And he was having a bad day this day, and he was obviously frustrated. And Alan Rice blows a whistle, and I took one step forward, and he charged across and hit me right in the chest with his whole forearm and my butt hit outside the outer circle. I mean, I flew, and I said, that's it, I've done as much as I can to help you. And of course, he became the only uh, wrestler to ever compete in the same Olympics in both freestyle and Greco-Roman. It made the team. Actually, right. Tommy Evans did it both, but he hadn't made the team in freestyle, but he's, you know, he's the alternate because Batucci got hurt. Right. But anyway, Chris was, Chris was amazing, and I've got other Chris toys. Yeah, what about Jim Nance? You talked about uh, the respect you had for Jim Nance as a wrestler and an athlete. Well, Jim Nance was a, a great athlete. Uh, he was a great boxer. Uh, I think he won the Golden Gloves in boxing, and uh, he was also a great football player, all-pro football player, All-American at Syracuse University, and um, he he was uh, he was a Pennsylvania wrestler, and uh, came out of a very good system in Pennsylvania and lived up to the Pennsylvania tradition of uh, great wrestlers. Um, very fast for a big man uh, and great balance. Um, I think that he, he was one of the great athletes. And Jim Nance unfortunately passed away at an early stage, but uh, he left an impact on the wrestling world. Uh, so yeah, this, uh, this episode of the heavyweight, uh, the big men is gonna continue at thelegendchronicles.com. We really encourage you to come there and finish listening and watching this episode. Uh, we're gonna expand it out and you're gonna get to see and hear a lot of great things. Uh, so Bobby Douglas and Wayne Bachman, thanks for uh, joining me as co-host with this. I'm Larry Nugent. Uh, make sure that you get all your wrestling equipment from wrestlingmart.com and we'll see you down the line. We'll see you next week. 
Women's wrestling has become a huge part of so many lives, and the National Registry for Wrestling needs your help for it to continue to grow. You see this confidence about yourself. I'm able to just approach situations and just have the understanding that I can do that because I believe in myself, and wrestling taught me that. It's changed me as a person. It's given me confidence, and it's made me tougher. I'm Adeline Gray. My name is Helen Morales. Register at nr4w.com. nr4w.com. Wrestling for our women of today, tomorrow, and forever.